Maybe I need a booster seat. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Jim. I'm Ryan. And this is the Concept Crucible Podcast. How you doing? Uh, what? What was that? I don't know. I felt the need to say something that may not have been witty, but... Well, we're getting there. See, we're, it's, 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 it's been two and a half years. We're working on it. Yeah. Um, today is our challenge check-in. At the beginning of the year, we set up challenges for each of us. Mm-hmm. Huck, you have your doula a day challenge. Yep. I have my planking achievements challenge. Mm-hmm. And now we are halfway through the year-ish, mm-hmm. and it's time to check in on how we're doing, whether we're doing well. Some of us are not. Those people are me. Save me with the icebreaker anytime. Well, I guess before we jump into the icebreaker, though, I think uh, there's there's value to kind of these mid project check ins because you can um, it gives you a time to reflect on you know what's going really well, what's not going really well, and maybe uh, depending on what's not going well, what can you do to do better in the next half, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I mean, th- we're doing this with our challenge check in, but you, our wonderful audience, should also just keep that in mind whenever you have your own projects. That it's always good to stop and reflect. So. Yes. So this uh, is this is our reflection period on our challenges. So the the question of the day, the icebreaker question is: If you could change your challenge right now, because you picked drawing, I picked planking. Mm-hmm. If you could change it right now, what would you change it to? So out of all the ones that we talked about in the pre-show, I think I would like to stick with the musical, or sorry, the artistic side and do a musical challenge. Mm. Um, I'm not as confident in my ability to write songs as perhaps you are, but I think a, a adequate challenge for me would be to try to learn one new song the rhythm section, like a guitar rhythm part, um, once every two weeks. It's like Kill Switch Engage. Or... Yeah, so right now I'm, I'm sticking mostly with Kill Switch and one. I have um, Rocksmith, uh, and I've been playing uh, music there. And just for because I only have one guitar, and tuning sucks, especially when you down-tune a full step. Um, tuning up and down is just so much of a pain in the butt relative to how long I'm playing, because I'm usually only playing 20 minutes tops at a, in a mm-hmm. stretch. Um, so for me to tune up and down uh, is kind of a pain. So I'm just I'm sticking in drop C tuning, and I'm playing through five or six metal songs. Um, but if I were to do a challenge, I'd probably lay out, you know, or I'd map out, you know, several songs that I'd want to learn, and then I could, you know, perhaps group them accordingly. That I'll stick to one tuning and play it. But I think one song every two weeks gives me enough time to learn it beyond just chords so learn the rhythm sections of it uh and have a certain degree of mastery i mean it won't be it won't be clean it'll certainly be very messy for me but as you pointed out though um after a couple months my ability to learn the song quickly will go up as my skills start to develop so but I, i don't think i would change it i think i would stick it you know one year 20 what was it like 28 songs or something like that after 52 is 26 there we go. 20, well, no, the leap year does, is only one day, not a week. But yeah, anyway, yeah, so... We don't have a leap week. This so, isn't Mercury. <laughs> so, so maybe 26, 27 songs over the course of the year. Um, Mercury and does not have a leap week. Mercury doesn't have a calendar. No one lives there. No. Don't they have a year that's 80, 80 or 88 days long? Couldn't tell you. Anyways. That would probably be my challenge if I was not doing the challenge I'm doing right now. Cool. Mine, I would stick with a fitness challenge Mm -hmm. um, because that is the thing I need to focus on. It was a thing that I picked because it would be hard and because it would be boring for you to do a fitness challenge. Mm -hmm. Um, But you chose yours because it would be boring for me? Yeah. Really? We had that talk over dinner, man, like six months ago when you you were like, I could do a fitness challenge. I'm like, you do fitness stuff all the time. You talk about fitness stuff all the time. You go to the gym all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm like... I should do a fitness challenge because mm-hmm. I don't do those things, mm-hmm. and I should. So this will give me a reason to do that. He says, taking a sip of a soda. <laughs> but I imagine so. A sip I of would. Water. I would see. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I got to work with. I would still do a fitness challenge, but I would not do planks. <laughs> planks, I, I I like the idea of planking, and I like it because it's difficult. I like it because it really 
like it's it, when you get into a really locked into a really solid plank it's like blood from a stone and that is sort of what i'm looking for it's not just to push like and to to gain strength but to push my endurance and to push myself past limits right but convincing myself to do that every day is very difficult some days I don't want to push my limits. Some days I want my limits to remain where they are. I want them to be comfy. I want to like wrap them in a blanket and tuck them back into bed for another like hour. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, squats, like body weight squats. Mm-hmm. Squats are dramatically easier, but you have to do more of them. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, so there, there's, there's the flip side of I would definitely have to do more squats than I'm doing planking, but um, it would not, I think, be as hard on my body. And it would make it easier to get up in the morning and actually do. Um, Which we'll get to, because my progress has not been spectacular. I can't imagine doing squats every day. I hate, I hate squats. Oh, oh, deadlift, deadlift, no problem. I like, I like picking up heavy stuff. But even the metaphor of squat in terms of like squatting is like life that things will drag you down, you have to find the strength to bring yourself back up. Like I that's a great metaphor. I hate squats. Yeah, no, I I Absolutely. love squats. Ugh. I learned it, I learned I I so I live I live in a building that's uh, about 19 floors tall. And uh when I was working with a trainer uh earlier in the year, earlier last year actually. Um one of the things that we would do every morning we worked together three three mornings a week was we would go from like the 15th floor down to the down to the ground floor on the stairs go down a step do a squat go down a step do a squat go down a step do a squat and it was hard Mm -hmm. but it is one of those things where afterward i'm like yes yes i did that i feel good and I feel that way about planking too, but it's it's harder to convince myself to keep doing it. Yeah. yeah. So our progress so far, um, mine is mine is mine is poor. Uh, I had a couple months where I like a couple of months. Uh, you can see my chart uh, in the show notes. I have graphed every day that I have been planking, and for how many seconds. Uh, I have been doing more than one set, but uh, I am still definitely I'm not I'm not anywhere close to where I wanted to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think my record so far is 84 seconds, uh, and I am going to bust the crap out of that by the end of the year because I have recently recommitted and I have done so very hard, and I I like it like I'm looking forward to it, but I have to look back at the past six months because this is our check in and go. There were like two months where I just did not do it. I just didn't have the wherewithal. I wasn't getting up early enough in the morning. I would lie to myself about, you know, oh, I'll do it. I'll plank for time. And I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. So I have to live with that, but I have to do better. Mm-hmm. How's yours going? How's yours going? Mine, um, it's, it's going well. I mean, I have, I have, as of filming... 153 posts or whatever and we are 150 so days in so i mean yep. i've i've posted one doodle for every day that has elapsed so far um full disclosure they look great by the way <laughs> yes, i am and, jealous as fuck and we will throw the link to the tumblr that i post to every day um i i should say so i have posted every day full disclosure i have not drawn every day like it is a doodle a day challenge but uh, for time constraints and whatnot, for example, uh, the Victoria Day long weekend, I pre-did four doodles before I left because I was going to be at a cottage, and I did. I can't pre-plank. Yeah, you can't. So like, that's that's a um, uh, a limitation for you and a built-in form of cheating, I suppose, for me. I don't think on, it's cheating. Yeah, I'm, it depends on how literally you take doodle a day, um, and I believe I don't remember which day it was. I probably should have made note of it. And maybe I did in the, the comments below the pictures. There was one where I missed a day that I uh, backfilled. So the next day I posted twice to, to catch up. So I, I do believe that there was one day that I did not post for that I posted the next day. Um, but otherwise, in terms of the challenge, I have posted something for every day that has elapsed so far in 2016. 
Right. You, it's a doodle. It's it's really we're easy. Both supposed to fail at these, Ryan. Yeah, it's. Uh, but what you're doing is significantly harder than what I'm I doing. I don't think that's true. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, no, my 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 progress, like I said, has been less than stellar, but uh, I persevere and recommit. Um, so, what works, mm-hmm. and what and what stops us? You mentioned that you've been pre-doodling because you're you're sort of planning for days when you're like, I'm just definitely not go either going to draw or going to have access to yeah. the ability to upload, I assume. Yeah. Uh, so keeping an eye on anticipated breaks uh, mm-hmm. definitely helps. Um, I don't try to, say, pre-doodle an entire week uh, just so that I don't have to worry about it. It's usually I only respond to, to issues as they arise. Um, other things that have really helped... Um, when I first started the challenge, I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult because in my mind, I put the pressure on coming up with these wonderful, insightful pictures. Mm-hmm. And actually, I found it much easier um, to just doodle a representation of something that's going on with me at that particular moment. Hmm. So, for example, this week, um, I wrote a test for my biology course that I got 100% on. So today, I just did a... 100 with a bunch of fanfare around it to represent the fact that I got 100% yesterday on a test. Um, when construction in my office started, because they're ex- they're condensing some offices to make room for other support staff, yeah. um, there's a lot of construction noises, so I did a hammer and a saw cross with a bunch of music notes because the foreman or whatever is constantly whistling while he works. <laughs> um, so I, I, all I... I learned that it was much easier to draw upon things that are going on in my life. Oh, for example, uh, my one boss gave me a, um, a bundle of rhubarb, so I doodled some rhubarb. What did you do with the rhubarb afterward? I made uh, strawberry rhubarb crisp. I wanted to make a pie. That is the appropriate use for rhubarb. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I wanted to make a pie, but I didn't want to make the pie crust. So instead, I had the material to make a crisp. <laughs> Seems legit. Um, and then I think since I like tips of three. Uh, A third thing that has really helped me to stay on track is I've designated noon as posting time. So when I go to work and if I don't have something preloaded, I have up until noon and that gives me a deadline of, oh, it's 11 o'clock, I should doodle something. Because a lot of times I'll just grab a post-it notepad, doodle something on there, take a picture, crop, uh, set it up on Tumblr and set it to post at 12. Yeah. So that schedule really helps it's only if i have morning meetings or something where i can't post or if i forget or something that i will post later in the day um you know i'll just uh set it up and post right then and there but for almost everything else it really helps that i can schedule when the posts go up so that you know i do it the night before boom it's ready to go for the next day kind of Mm -hmm. deal so that has really helped to keep me on track because that schedule forces me to okay now it's time to sit down. I need to doodle something. What's the first thing that comes to the top of my head? So you have talked about what helps it work for you. Mm-hmm. Um, things that didn't work for me. Mm-hmm. Um, just attempting to do it. Mm-hmm. Like just every day being like, okay, I'm going to beat yesterday's time. Mm-hmm. Um, partly because it is hard on my body. Mm-hmm. And partly because you rapidly outpace what you can do like the difference between a minute and a minute and 10 seconds is actually a, like it is a it is a lot more than it seems and especially because you're only doing you're essentially planking once mm-hmm. so now i've been doing sets so i think my last as of recording my last log was 40 seconds but that was six sets mm-hmm. and i typically only record my lowest because mm-hmm. uh, that's what makes it fair so 40 seconds, um, but because I did it six times, when I when I move up to 50 seconds, it's going to be, I'm going to be in a better condition to do it. I'm going to be better prepared. It's going to stress out my body less, mm-hmm. and that means that I will not feel awful when I try and, and break those records. And then um, the plan I have now, mm-hmm. once a week, I just go for as long as I can. Mm-hmm. So what you'll start seeing in the graph is a big spike and a bunch of low ones and then a big spike and a bunch of low ones. And ideally those spikes get bigger and bigger and bigger until I'm just planking all day. Mm-hmm. I just like take a Sunday off and I'm like, I'm just going to plank all day for 24 hours. 
Uh, did I? There was a video of like the the championship or the guy who's like a, the, the, got the record for planking, and it is hours long. Oh yeah, I bet. Yeah. There you um, go, Jim. There's your target. Jeez, no, I don't know that I'm going to attempt to break a world record. The uh, it's the equivalent of when you do a run in a racing game, and then you have the shadow version of your previous run that you use as your as your. Yes. Yes. Uh, so we should set up a shadow version of Jim to to plank against so other things that didn't work for me was not doing it first thing like if i didn't make a pri- if i don't make it a priority first thing in the morning i'm not doing it mm-hmm. and it's partly because i don't work out at night typically and it's probably because working out at night keeps me from sleeping mm-hmm. so first thing in the morning now i'm just get up Throw down a towel to put my elbows on. Mm-hmm. Uh, now I have a yoga mat, mm-hmm. but and just try and do it. And try and keep my form solid, yeah, which is real hard. <laughs> but the the other thing that didn't work was setting setting it like like thinking about it as I have to plank to fill in the chart. Like I would, I would more often than not, I'd be like, I have to now. I just have to plank for time. Like, I just have to fill in the chart and make the numbers bigger and bigger. And as long as I'm making those numbers bigger, nothing else matters. Like, as long as I'm, you know, sort of working at it and, and getting that number bigger. And ideally, yeah, but if, if, if that number only goes up once every month, then I'm not accomplishing my actual goal, which was build strength. Because there's another part to my challenge that I am going to fail hard at, uh, but I'm going to fail with style, and that is do a handstand. That is why I've been doing all this planking. That's why I've been doing all this other conditioning is because I want to do a handstand. Mm -hmm. Uh, I weigh 350 pounds. This is going to be a some bitch of a handstand. And we're going to do it. I've got a a friend of mine who's a dancer and a gymnast, and she she is coaching me a bit. But... You know, and, and te- helping me. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have spotters, and we'll do a video, and it's gonna be awkward. And but it is one of those things where, where, like, to do that, I, I, I can't just make numbers go higher. I have to build strength and build endurance, mm-hmm. uh, and be able to support myself. Mm-hmm. And that is gonna be the hard part. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna wait another like three months to start on handstands. Mm-hmm. But that's yeah, it's gonna be awful. Oh, I'm not looking forward to it. But now I have a month-long plan. So I get up in the morning and I don't have to go, oh, what's my what's my time? What's my... No. Look at my phone. Here's my plan. Mm-hmm. And, you know, on the third week of the month, I make a plan for the next month. And then I have it. And then I know. And I know what I'm supposed to do. I don't have to ask. I don't have a chance to make excuses. Mm-hmm. I just know what I'm supposed to do, and I do it. And sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm like, you know, my body's feeling really physically strained. I need to take an extra day. There are rest days in the plan. It's not about planking every single day because I I do need a chance to recover. But there is also a point where I have to be like, okay, I am going to super regret this if I do it today. And there's also the point where I have to be like, I'm going to super regret this if I do it today but I need to do it anyway Mm -hmm. because I can't always use that as a stopping point. And that is the thing I'm trying to overcome right now is the, Oh, well, you know, like my hurt a bunch, I'm sore and maybe I won't do it today. I'm like, no, you need to push like you, 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 I mean, don't injure yourself, but push through it a bit more than I am. Mm -hmm. So that's my next move. (sighs) Oh Yeah. It's a thing, but I and I am I am mad at myself. I, I thought about the icebreaker question. And I was like, I, I I should have said, oh, I'll take on a writing challenge, but I would have felt a lot worse about failing at a writing challenge. Like if I'm failing at a writing challenge, I'm failing at something I'm good at. Here I am at least failing at something I'm bad at, mm-hmm. um, and I'm learning to get better at it and mm-hmm. de- to develop strategies for that. Yeah. Downside is I'm not doing enough writing, but that's a different problem. Yeah, there has been times when um, <clears throat> I've 
usually it's coupled with something else that's going on, like I'm under pressure from work or something like that, where and I can't come up with an idea where I've you know like oh, why am I still doing this? Like this is this is so stupid doing it for a year, but. I've pushed through those kinds of moments anyways. And Wait I, until I tell them we're going to do challenges next year. Uh-oh. We're going to do challenges next year? Well, probably. Uh-oh. New year, new challenge. Yeah. Maybe maybe next year I'll do the guitar challenge. Maybe or so. Or maybe I'll do a fitness challenge or something. You have a cool challenge for Hawk. Put it in the show notes. Yeah. I'm, I'm, or put it in the comments, rather. I'm, opening, I'm open to entertaining suggestions. Mm. Uh, I will not necessarily... Do 100% will do it. Uh, uh, maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, sorry, you were saying. No, it's just, um, um, <laughs> hoity toity me saying, like, yeah, I, I've pushed through my challenges as if my challenges are anywhere near the same level as yours. Um, so, if, I guess looking forward for the next six months, I, I should, and I probably should have thought about this before we started recording, but given that I've hit my daily challenges, I should try to find a way to up it a little bit, make it just a little bit more challenging. So, I don't know, I don't know if that's going to be taking, not commissions, but like suggestions on duels, so trying, trying to solicit ideas and then i try to somehow draw it so i don't know if it's you know do a picture of spider-man versus do a picture of something that represents x you know love or Mm -hmm. discipline or fear Mm. or something you know something abstract that i try to represent um visually picturing all those now it's just a heart wearing a black belt (laughs) um also I know I said doodles. Maybe I could try to scale it up to something a little bit more complex. Ooh. Um, so right now, oil my, painting. Well, I don't have. I'd have to buy the supplies. But uh, I've been I've been enjoying when I do watercolors. It's with watercolor pencils. So I use the I um, color it in with the pencils, and then I use a wet paintbrush to to turn it into the watercolor. So it's not like one hundred percent full watercolor, but no one can see your hands, man. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I forget. There's there's a space between or below the the frame. Um, so, but a lot of my a lot of my sketches, and if you look at the tags, they'll say things like you know sketch, drawing, pen, ink. It's just I take a doodle, uh, um, post a note, and a pen, and I doodle something as opposed to say trying to do a portrait with charcoal or, or mm-hmm. a pencil or something. So maybe I should open up the medium a little bit, that it's still drawing and it's still a doodle, but it's not necessarily a pen. So, I don't know. Like, There's there's probably ways for me to do it, and I don't have an answer right now in the, the podcast, but given that you are setting stretch goals, or at least you, you started with a stretch goal of planks plus handstand, I should, yep. I should probably do something equivalent. Ooh. So I don't know. Stay tuned for that. Yeah, keep 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 watching the Tumblr, and I don't know. Maybe maybe something will pop up soon. So uh, if there is a moral of the story, which ideally there is, that's mm-hmm. why we started doing it. Is um, find challenges and do them. It doesn't matter if they're stupid. It doesn't matter if you're bad at them. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't matter if you like them because I fucking hate planking. I don't. I mean, I like the idea of it. And I, and I want to be a person who enjoys it, and that is why I am attempting to learn. Mm. But uh, if it is a thing that you want to do, and it is a thing that is that is you know sort of worthwhile and okay, then setting challenges is a really good way to learn to do it, mm. and to learn to do it in a way that is scalable, a way that fits with your life often. Mm-hmm. And then I think I am enjoying about a year-long challenge. So I do, I have done all kinds of 30-day challenges, whether it's push-ups or mm-hmm. couch to 5K or couch to 5K is like 90 days or something. Mm-hmm. But um, Or um, Vita. Vita is a 30-day challenge. Vlogging every day in April. And I love doing those. And I try and, and use them to push my boundaries and learn things. And But at the end, they're over. Mm-hmm. And I just have to take what I've learned and, and go on. Mm-hmm. But with a year, with a whole year, I can fail and try again and fail and learn and develop. And I and 
I am at six months, and I have failed in a couple of different ways, and I've failed a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And I still have time. Mm -hmm. I still have time to succeed. Like, I'm not under the gun. The thing with something like a 30-day challenge is, is there is this feeling that I will have. Like, I, I've been doing Vita for five years now. Mm -hmm. And I think I've only successfully done it twice. Like, 30 videos in 30 days. Uh, this year, it was actually like 50. But, because um, we did it over on my channel, uh, link in the show notes. Uh, plus, we had all our regular Wootsuit content. Mm -hmm. But, uh, last year, we did it here on, on Wootsuit. Um, and the year before, I think I missed one day. But, you, you in a 30-day challenge, you don't have time to learn. You just have to do. You just have to do, do, do. And if you miss a day, you have to either eat that day... Mm -hmm. Or extend your challenge and just keep doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, with a year, yeah, I can do and learn and take time off and do again. And do better. Mm -hmm. Ideally. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's one thing I like about the challenges is... Um, well, I mean, I've been, I picked a challenge that forced me to create, and that was like the big urge that I felt was lacking in my life was I mm -hmm. wasn't making or I wasn't creating enough. So at the end of it, I will have 366 doodles. There, yep. will, there will be in some sense a progress, but also it's about learning how to overcome your own, um, I was going to say boundaries, but overcoming your own hurdles, the things that prevent you, the little slips of the mind and whatnot so you learn a little bit about yourself you learn a little bit about the process and hopefully like you you gain some skill or some some experience i think it's impossible to do something for a year and not get better at it yeah like whether it's you know drawing or working out or making burgers mm -hmm. you know you if you do something for a year even every every day every other day you're going to get better and you can see it because you can look back at what you were doing and see where you are now and be like, well, shit, mm -hmm. here we are. So, yeah, share your challenges. Um, share. I've found sharing them is really fun and also really embarrassing. Like I have to, I have a chart that embarrassingly shows where I failed. But at the same time, I I have to own that. And I feel good about owning it. Uh, partly because very few people are giving me a hard time about it. Is that code that I should be pestering you more? No, no, okay. no. I mean giving a hard time <laughs> in, in terms of uh, harassing and things like that. And oh, I, don't, okay. I don't have a lot of that in my life. And I don't particularly ever import it. But, hmm. no, it, it is a thing that, like, it, it, is, it is my failure, but it's only my failure. Um, and I am not afraid of it. So yeah, do challenges. Yeah. Find things, do them. Um, be afraid, but fail anyway. And do it Fa now. Do it today. <laughs> yes, not don't, tomorrow. Not tomorrow, now. Do it now, right now. Failure is not final, nor is it fatal. No. Anyway, I'm Jim. I'm Ryan. And we're signing off. Stay challenged. Really? Stay challenged? I don't know. Really? Like, there are worse ways I could have signed off. Yeah, oh, sure. I mean, yeah? <laughs> Probably? Whatever happened to stay awesome? I felt like I was repeating it too many times. I needed to... You to... never repeat it too many times. All right. Stay awesome. Stay awesome. Yeah, everybody thinks I'm bigger than Huck until they meet you.